the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O oh, forth to beseech your Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we through the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Friends, we begin our celebration of the Eucharist in invoking the blessings of the Holy Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to our celebration this afternoon. We have gathered in our basilica to celebrate our Lord's passion, death, and resurrection in this Eucharistic celebration. Today, in our celebration of the Eucharist, we remember and pray for the second birth anniversary in heaven of Sandra de Feria. And we pray that God may offer her God's eternal salvation. Also during this month of November, my brothers and sisters, we remember and pray for holy souls. We remember our departed parents, brothers and sisters, probably husband, wife, children, near and dear ones. Also we think of our priests who served in this parish, also our religious, our teachers, formators, and we ask the good Lord to of all of them God's eternal salvation. With these few thoughts in mind, we come into the celebration of the Eucharist, thinking of our own failures and asking God's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision, I, John, saw a door open in heaven and heard the same voice speaking to me, the voice like a trumpet saying, come up here, I will show you what is to come in the future. With that, the spirit possessed me and I saw a throne standing in heaven and the one who was sitting on the throne and the person sitting there looked like a diamond and a ruby. There was a rainbow encircling the throne, and this looked like an emerald. 
Round the throne, in a circle, were 24 thrones, and on them I saw 24 elders sitting dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their heads. Flashes of lightning were coming from the throne, and the sound of pearls of thunder, and in front of the throne there were seven flaming lamps burning, the seven spirits of God. Between the throne and myself was a sea that seemed to be made of glass, like crystal. In the center, grouped round the throne itself, were four animals with many eyes in front and behind. The first animal was like a lion, the second like a bull, and the third animal had a human face, and the fourth animal was like a flying eagle. Each of the four animals had six wings and had eyes all the way around, as well as inside. And day and night they never stopped singing. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of God, the Almighty. He was, he is, and he is to come. Every time the animals glorified and honored and gave thanks to the one sitting on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders prostrated themselves before him to worship the one who lives forever and ever, and threw down their crowns in front of the throne, saying, You are my Lord and our God. You are worthy of glory and honor and power, because you made all the universe, and it was only by your will that everything was made and exists. The word of the Lord. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes Give praise to the Lord, holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, alleluia. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, to go and bear fruit that will last. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. While the people were listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they imagined that the kingdom of God was going to show itself then and there. Accordingly, he said, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to be appointed king and afterwards return. He summoned 10 of his servants and gave them 10 pounds. Do business with this, he told them, until I get back. But his compatriots deserted him and sent a delegation to follow him with this message. We do not want this man to be our king. Now, on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent for those servants to whom he had given the money to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, your one pound has brought in ten. Well done. Good, my good servant, he replied. Since you have proved yourself faithful in a very small thing, you shall have the government of ten cities. Then came the second and said, Sir, your one pound has made five. To this one also, he said, and you shall be in charge of five cities. 
Next came the other and said, Sir, here is your pound. I put it away safely in a piece of linen because I was afraid of you. For you are an exacting, exacting man. You pick up what you have not put down and reap what you have sown. You wicked servant, he said, out of your own mouth I condemn you. So you knew I was an exacting man, picking up what I have not put down and reaping what I have not sown. Then why did you not put my money in the bank? On my return, I could have drawn it out with interest. And he said to those standing by, take the pound from him and give it to the man who has 10 pounds. And they said to him, but sir, he has 10 pounds. I tell you, to everyone who has will, uh, to everyone who has will be given more, but from the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. But as for my enemies who did not want me for their king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. When he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. Friends, the saving gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we must be grateful to God the loving Father for giving us many gifts and blessings. No? And uh, these gifts are given by God the loving Father, such as maybe to sing, to uh, maybe to speak, and probably to dance and to, uh, you know, be, to be a good player and a few, a few gifts like that. And uh, these gifts are given not to misuse or abuse or hinder my brothers and sisters. But the sole intention of God the loving Father as we saw in today's gospel passage is to be productive, to be productive. For which what is important is to you know, develop our talents to uh, practice more and more. Now, if someone is a good player, footy player, let's say, if that person doesn't practice and uh, do uh, hard training and all that, he will not be able to perform well. So he can't be a productive person. Therefore, we need to you know, have that practice. We need to really work hard uh, to be productive as well. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, we use all these gifts not for our own glory as such, but it's for the glory of God, the loving Father, and the service of one another, and the service of one another. So let us use our talents, our gifts, for the glory of God, and the glory of, and glory of God, and the service of one another. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, we should be bear in mind that we will be called upon by God to render our account of the gifts he gave to you and me. We pray that God may bless us, strengthen us, and our good Holy Mother will journey with all of us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness you have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Uh, this mystery of water and wine may we come to share the deity of Christ, humbled himself in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, and it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God. The Almighty Father. Amen. 
Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the higher. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Archbishop, Don, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, religious, and God's loving people and children. Remember your servant, Sandra de Feria, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our other brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, a spouse with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Patrick, Saint Eugene de Mazenon, Saint Mary of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et cum ipsum et in ipsum, est ibidio patri omnipotenti, in unitate spiritu sancti, omnes honoret gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. We gather all our prayers and praises into one 
And we now address our Heavenly Father saying, Our Father, who hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, friends. Lamb of God, and this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Lord, your blood of Christ, bring us to the last.
So let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you very much and God bless you all friends.